we've learned two local Red Cross volunteers are on their way to Florida ahead of Dorian, and the Red Cross says more volunteers will likely join them. In the meantime, I went to Stu's reporter Steve Nielsen talked to a hurricane expert at URI. He continues our in-depth coverage live in studio. Steve. Much of Dr. Isaac Guinness's work focuses on storm intensity, the ingredients that feed a storm, and he says the temperature of the water might strengthen Dorian a lot in the next 24 hours. We'll find out a lot in the next 24 hours. The next day or so, we'll see when this turn will take place and we'll see when. URI hurricane researcher Dr. Isaac Guinness says Hurricane Dorian isn't very large, but it may end up a category four as it passes over very warm water. Extremely warm water when the hurricane intensity can intensify by 30, 35 miles per hour in one day, potentially devastating impact on, on east, eastern part of Florida. Forecasting where exactly it will make landfall with as much notice as possible is important. It allows first responders to get into place. One of the things that former Rhode Island EMA director Peter Gaynor was on CBS this morning in his new role as acting FEMA director. You know, our team is on the ground uh, in uh, Florida and around Florida, making sure that uh, the governor and local officials have everything they need to prepare for a landfall of Dorian. A Guinness said the path of the storm and the strength remind him a lot of Hurricane Andrew from 1992. That storm wreaked havoc in southern Florida. And Guinness's work at URI is focusing on strengthening hurricane forecasting, even trying to pinpoint rainfall and wind speed to a street-by-street -street basis. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.